Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The weather is absolutely amazing today, so it's a perfect day to come out, check the wait times, ride some rides, eat some food, and just have a wonderful, bright, sunny Disney day. Anywho, let's go do this. And now we officially have made it into the park and just look at how beautiful it is like you can't even see shade anywhere It is so nice out and it's not too hot. It's got a little bit of a wind, but I'm just loving these blue skies Today is March 5th 2022 the temperature outside is 85 degrees Like I said, it's the perfect day to come to Animal Kingdom and I can't wait to just go around explore ride some rides and also maybe eat some food that I've never had here before this is something kind of new. It looks like they're doing build your own candles here at the Discovery Trading Company from uh, now till April 30th. And I like it. They have a lot of cool different offerings that you can do. Even you can do it inside of a uh, Animal Kingdom mug. That's really nifty. It's $25. This seems really uh, kind of fancy. First things first, we're gonna go and check the wait times and see how busy it is in the park. I know Expedition Everest is still closed at the moment, so we're gonna see what rides we can ride without waiting like 100 minutes and uh, kind of formulate a plan. Overall, the park is not that busy. Like, honestly, it looks like Cali River Rapids is 30 minutes. Uh, Flight of Passage is only 75. Navi is 65. Dinosaur was 30 minutes. Uh, it's Tough to Be a Bug is 10 minutes. So literally, it's, it's not that bad at all. Usually, you're kind of seeing things like in the 100 minute wait times. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna like it today. One of the things I always wanted to do, but I never get the chance to do, is eat at the Harambe Market because it actually closes at 3.30. So I think we're gonna head over there and grab a little bit of lunch before we embark on the park itself. And here it is, the Harambe Market. Meat shop, curry style sausages, grilled foods, and refreshments. This closes at 3.30, so like I said, I never get the opportunity to actually get anything to eat from here. So today's gonna be the day. Here is a look at the items. They have a ribs and chicken bowl, a grilled chicken bowl. They have a plant-based hot link bowl, a harambe salad, and a Simba cupcake. I've gotten cupcakes from here before, and I have eaten here before, but I can't remember how if I liked it or not. So I'm definitely gonna get a refresher. Maybe we'll do ribs and chicken. A little ribs and chicken with some cilantro lime rice. Sounds really, really good. I love reading all the different uh, like signs and advertisements. Right here it says bachelor to let one bedroom offered for rent immediately, secure garden flat. <laughs> what does that even mean? Professional lady looking for a flat to rent. So <laughs> that's really interesting. I feel like they used to have more food offerings here, like multiple stands. It looks like there's only one stand open. And like I said, I have eaten here before, but I can't remember it. So it's kind of like a refresher now. Now that we ordered our food, I think we're gonna go sit over here next to the train tracks. I like dining over here because you get to watch the train go back and forth. And it's actually really cool because it's, it, it, and it might be a little bit loud, but it is awesome. They have signs that say caution near tracks. And I just love like everything over here. Like it is so well themed. The chicken and rice bowl looks amazing. And take a look at this. We're sitting right next to the railroad track. So the train's gonna be coming back and forth and we'll have to keep our eye out for it. Here is the bowl, and look at that. Looks like you get about uh, five bones of ribs there. You get grilled chicken, cilantro, lime rice, cilantro. Cilantro, lime rice, cilantro. I meant to say salsa, but doesn't it look amazing? And this was $14.99. And I can't wait to try the ribs. They look so good. I'm gonna pick them up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Here comes the train right behind us. The Wildlife Express. Hi, friends. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Kind of makes me want to go on this. Look at that. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna dive into the ribs here and take a look at these. Like I said, I think they give you uh, just about uh, five, maybe four bones, and there's not much sauce on there. It kind of looks like a dry rub, but we're gonna break them apart here. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna, gonna dive in here. 
That's good ribs. There's something different about the sauce on there though. I like it. I like it a lot. There's a good a lot of meat on the ribs themselves and I really can't pinpoint what that like taste is or what the uh, dry rub on top is. It's definitely got a lot of seasoning. You can see it actually on there, but it's very delicious. I kind of just thought about this, but I've never had like a rice bowl with ribs before. I didn't think that was a thing. You know what I mean? I, I, I think of like steak or chicken or, you know, uh, pork, but never had ribs, like bones and ribs. So strange, but hey, I like it. And for quick service for only $14.99, it's not a bad deal. It's a really good, like unique meal. And I can't wait to try the chicken, the chicken and the rice. Now that we powered through the ribs there, here is a look at the chicken and the rice and then some salad in there. And I, I kind of felt weird because I, I wasn't sure what to do with the bones. You know what I mean? Like when it's on a plate, but it's served in a bowl. So it's not like you put the, uh, the bones back in there. You have to get rid of the ribs so that you can eat the chicken and the rice. But uh, we're gonna dive in here. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. There we go. Grab a little bit of that chicken, a little bit of that lettuce, a little bit of that salsa, all in one bite. Mmm. This is really good. I feel like I like the chicken and rice better than the ribs. So I could have just gotten the chicken and rice bowl instead of the ribs, and I would have liked that a lot more. The salsa is really good. The lettuce is fresh and crisp, and the cilantro and lime rice is kind of like amazing. So this is a good this is a good meal right here on its own. You get a lot more chicken if you just get the chicken ball on itself. Like with this, I got the four bones of ribs and like three or four pieces of chicken. Like, you know, little tiny chunks. Next time, I'm just going to go all in on the chicken ball. I mean, I like the little salad and rice combination though, so you can eat all that up. As we were sitting here enjoying our rice bowls, uh, Corey, one of the awesome cast members who work in the Harambe market, brought us over some Simba cupcakes and made a little magic. Look at Look at baby little Simba there. I like this, I can't wait to dive into it. I don't like the cupcake wrappers though. I feel like they're so challenging. You know what I mean? These are so difficult to get off, but I'm gonna do my best. They're hard, right? Yeah. We're trying to unwrap the cupcakes. Oh, there we go. I did it completely fine, but now I can't eat it like in one bite. I should have just used a fork. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's so hard because you have this big Simba on top. We're gonna have to take you off Simba. And I, I don't even know. I'm gonna end up getting icing all over my nose. I'm gonna go for it though. We're gonna bite into it here. See, I got icing on my lip. Now I got a Simba cover in my face. Simba. My friend Sean got a little uh, icing on his lip too. Is it just a little or is it a little bit? Lot? Just a little bit. Okay. Simba. Simba pride. That's very good. Good. It's nice and fluffy. Icing's nice and cool and you know. Yeah. Icing. Icing. <laughs> We just discovered there's something in the middle. There's something in the middle of the cake, so we're gonna have to cut through it here. Because I can't get around the icing bit. Oh no, I'm gonna destroy it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's more icing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Overall, I have to say, this is a great quick service. Definitely not like burgers or hot dogs. Oh! Now that we're all done with our lunch, I think it's time to move along. But I have to say, I really love it over there. That is a great quick service. And it's like a unique quick service instead of just like hamburgers or hot dogs or chicken nuggets. And uh, I'm not too sure why it closes at 3.30. I don't think that's the way it was always, but uh, I would definitely go back again. Now I think it's uh, time to maybe ride some rides. I wanted to stop and see what the wait time for Kilimanjaro Safaris is and it looks like it's a 60 minute wait but look at the lightning lane. The lightning lane is actually all the way out here so that means it might be a little bit longer than 60 minutes. Maybe we'll have to come back and check on that. Since Kilimanjaro Safari seems like such a long wait, maybe we'll go to Rafiki's Planet Watch and ride the train that was actually going behind us as we were eating lunch. Open your eyes to the world around you, Sean. Open them up. Rafiki's Planet Watch, here we come. I love coming over there. They have a petting zoo. Hi. You gonna pet a goat? I'm gonna pet many goats. We're gonna pet many goats. Tom Brady, Michael Jordan. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> this is a really awesome attraction. So the, the attraction itself is actually going over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. The train is just your transportation over there. Uh, it makes me kind of miss the Walt Disney World Railroad at Magic Kingdom. Hopefully that comes back soon enough, but this is like the only other train here at uh, Disney World. So uh, we're gonna enjoy it. Harambe Railway Station, a backstage journey through Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh, right here, we'll hop in here. This is the one. The silver tuna. The reason the uh, train cars face forward or face out this way is because behind us is backstage and they don't want to show it. And I kind of like that. So maybe on the way back, I'll try to show you guys a little bit of the backstage. Because you can see a little bit through the little peepholes there. But uh, it, it, it's a really cool thing. Asante. We're off on our amazing journey. Bye. It just seems like a couple of minutes ago, we were waving hi to everybody here. Goodbye. We'll never forget you. See you in two weeks. Yeah. Oh. From the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals. Like... Uh, Chris, you should remain seated. Please no seat hopping. These are main seated. Will Smith! There he is again! It's a good show if you see Paz Welcome to Earth. Really? Right there is Pride Rock, so that's where the lions are at. You can see it right there. Yeah, and we might be able to see a couple animals. I know we're gonna cross uh, the uh, elephant area along with some ostriches. Sometimes they creep up back here. But this is really cool. So this is all backstage of uh, Kilimanjaro safaris. Look at the baby rhino! Oh man! Oh wow, look at that! Holy moly, look at the baby rhino running! That was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, is a giant elephant sleeping! Oh, no, that's a rhino! <laughs> There's another rhino. So all the rhinos are back here. This is the... Uh, the elephant building though, right here. I got so excited. We don't even know we don't even need to go on Kilimanjaro's now. The baby one was so cute. Oh there's an elephant. Yeah, oh yeah, right there's an elephant. If you guys can only see it from my angle where I'm like, look at the rhino! Like I, I got really, really excited. The whole and then train looked. Yeah, the whole train. I, I was like, hey, it was running, it was a little baby rhino running. Yeah, that's wow, much. that's good stuff. <laughs> and now we are coming into station. We've made it over to the conservation station. Once we get over to the conservation station, it's a little bit of a walk, maybe about like five minutes. Uh, they have an animation experience too, where you can learn to draw some of your favorite Disney characters. I don't know if they're doing that right now. I'm more looking forward to like the petting zoo area and uh, just being over here. It's been a while and I really do like it. And here it is, the conservation station. We're gonna go explore around a little bit. I think we're gonna head inside first, see if they're doing that animation experience, and then go play with some of the goats. And they have a lot of they have a lot of cool animals in the petting zoo. Here is the animation experience, and it looks like the next show time's 3:15, and they're drawing Goofy. I don't know if we're gonna wait for it because they're in session already, and uh, it's really fun. It looks really really cool in here. A lot of the stuff in here that used to be is still closed down, so I'm hoping eventually it all reopen. It's important to wash your hands before you go in the petting zoo area and then especially wash them afterwards. Hand and get a little sanitation there. Bada bing, bada boom. Enter in. Bada bing, bada boom, huh? <laughs> now let's go get that goat. Oh, look. Looks like we got a food delivery coming in. There's my escort. Escort. Lead the way. <laughs> Bunch of sleepy pigs over here. <laughs> Sorry. The dinner bell's getting rung. <laughs> Look at this. It's time to eat. <laughs> Hey, a puppy? Oh, it's a puppy. 
I know. Go ahead, get some. Get some. There you go. You can pat him. Oh. This is Tubbs. Tubbs? Tubbs? I like Tubbs. Is our oldest goat. Really? It's gonna be 15 this year. Which for 15. Goats is very old. Well, thanks, Tubbs. He's adorable. <laughs> he is great. Sweet face. Something that's kind of cool, and I've never noticed it before. One of the newest uh, animals on Kilimanjaro safaris is the Nigerian dwarf goats, and they're actually over here at the petting zoo. Now, I don't know if they come out, but they're right behind us here. And I think that's so awesome. They're so cute. They're so tiny. Look at them over there, just enjoying their goat life. Looks like they got some good food. That's really awesome. Well, that was nice exploring back here. Now I think we're going to head back out and uh, maybe go ride some more rides. Like I said, I still think Cali River Rapids is on the menu today. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a perfect day for that. And I don't mind getting a little wet. Greetings, friends, and welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We are now beginning our return trip to the African town of Harambe. Look, we're coming up to where we were sitting. We were sitting right there before. Wave ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, that was us just a minute ago. Now we're back in Africa, and I think we're gonna head down to Pandora, see what the wait times for Flight of Passage and Navi River are, and then maybe grab a beer and kind of just chill out and enjoy the weather because it is so like it is so amazing out. I know I keep saying it because I really love it. Like, doesn't this just put you in Animal Kingdom moods right here? I love seeing the live entertainment back in the Animal Kingdom. And as you can hear, we're starting to make our way into Pandora. Did you hear that? <laughs> you could fall asleep to this. A little bit less noisy though. Maybe if we can turn the volume down. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. But if it was like a faint sound like that, I could fall asleep. Does anybody else fall asleep with like crickets or like white noise, you know? It looks like Flight of Passage is a 105 minute wait. 105 minute wait. Or you can buy an individual lightning lane. Uh, and I believe they're selling it for $14 today. Just $14 to ride this ride without waiting the 105 minute wait. If you bought the, the lightning lane though, you probably would still have to wait at least 20, 30 minutes. So I don't know, you know? I mean, if it's a ride that you must do, then I think it's worth it. But 105 minutes is a long, long time. The crazy thing is, is when we go over to Navi River Journey, it's gonna be probably about the same wait time as this right here. Like they're usually not too far off. And I'll tell you, hands down, I wouldn't wait more than 30 minutes for Navi River. I love that ride. It's really relaxing, but I don't wanna wait like an hour. I would wait an hour for Flight of Passage. Like if I really wanted to ride it, I would wait an hour, but not so much Navi River. And would you look at that? It's actually only a 35 minutes. So I guess I'm gonna eat my words when I said it's about the same wait time, just a you know 20 minute difference. Uh, so 35 minutes is not that bad. I would definitely wait in line for this. And I wouldn't pay for the lightning lane because you would get on there pretty fast. And that's really amazing. It's the lowest I've ever seen it before. I don't think I've ever seen uh, like uh, Navi River around a 35 minute wait in the middle of the afternoon. Sometimes you can catch it at a low wait time at the end of the night, but not right now. Now we have made it back to Discovery Island and like I said before I wanted to stop and grab a nice little beer and one of my all-time favorite beers is actually served here in Animal Kingdom and it's the Kungaloosh and it's from the Adventurers Club that's their saying, they're, they're, they're Kungaloosh, they're greeting and it's only served here in Walt Disney World. They serve it here at Animal Kingdom at Nomad Lounge and Tiffin's and then they sell it at Skipper Canteen and Magic Kingdom and then the Hangar Bar at Disney Springs and it's a spiced excursion ale and I love it and I've been wanting to get it for such a long time so today is the perfect day a hot sunny day with a nice cold beer nothing oh it just sounds amazing 
Here it is, and it's a real hard to get reservation. Right now, the standby wait is 70 minutes, but we're gonna grab our drinks to go. And here it is, Kungaloosh. 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 Ah, spice. <laughs> I can definitely taste the spice. A nice dark beer. Yeah. Very good. It is, I love it. Now we're gonna take our beer, got ourselves some liquid courage, and we're gonna make our way over to Cali River Rapids and uh, hopefully not get wet. During on our way over though, it looks like Kite Tales is about to begin. So I wouldn't mind stopping and seeing a little Kite Tales while we're here. Looks like we got a sold out show. Look at this. What goes up must come down. Man, will it come down? Oh, it'll come down. <laughs> You know, a lot of people don't enjoy Kite Tales, but I love it. I think it is so fun, and I love the music and the puppets uh, around like the uh, theater, and uh, I think it's a great show. Now we're gonna keep making our way around and over to uh, Cali River Rapids. I really do miss Expedition Everest though. Hopefully soon it'll open it up. I would love to go for a ride right now. If it was open, I would be on Expedition Everest right at this moment. I just looked and it says Cali River Rapids has a 45 minute wait, but once park hopping is enabled, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a walk on right after that. So in the meantime, we're actually gonna go check out some more animals and then swing back to Cali River Rapids when it's a lower wait time. And I bet you it's gonna drop down to, like I said, a walk on. Right next to Cali River Rapids is the Maharaji Jungle Trek where we get to see monkeys, tigers, and dragons. And I love coming in here, so I think we're gonna just kind of uh, walk around here and look at some wonderful wildlife. Now we're gonna go see the Batman. <laughs> we're gonna go into the bat house. And this is really cool because you get to get close to the bats. And honestly, there's nothing like protecting you. There's no screens or nothing. The bats are just hanging out there and uh, it's kind of just wide open. Oh, Look yeah. at that bat hanging there. Look at that. Isn't this just so cool? I love pointing this out. I come in here all the time and it's just amazing. Really, really awesome. I love how we just get to sit down here on a bench, drink a beer, and just kind of stare out at the animals up here. Look at that. It's an interesting lifestyle, huh? Right? <laughs> this is pretty, like, it's, isn't that just so cool? It's so peaceful, too. It's a shady spot. Yeah. He's eating some food, we're drinking some beers. I mean, Beer. this is good. As we were sitting here, I actually ran into a friend, Jackson. What's up, buddy? And you have a channel? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel called Jackson Bobbitt, and I say, Epic Adventures. Epic and I Adventures. Made, I made lots of videos on different content. I've been making lots of videos recently of my Dr. Phil experience. So everyone, check out my Dr. Phil episodes and like 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 and subscribe on my um, YouTube videos and like my TikToks. That's awesome, and, and yeah. I'll put your link in the description. Okay, bet. You gotta see all the cool, uh, <laughs> uh, which one call it, animals behind you too. It was perfect. They all came and lined in <laughs> right exactly as you were talking. They all like came right over. Yeah, yeah it was. It was very magical. Now we're gonna move along and walk through the tiger area. We saw some tigers, but there's two different areas where they're at, and this part is just so beautiful. Isn't this just so like amazing? I love walking through here with the prayer flags up there. I have these hanging in my bedroom and sometimes you can see tigers over here too. I don't know if the, the tigers are out right now, but this is one of the areas. 
Also over on this side too. And some ducks. Those are look like some very fancy ducks down there. Here's a tiger. Look at that. Now it is time for Cali River Rapids, and I'm pretty sure it's a walk-on. So we're just gonna be able to go ride right now. Look at that, five minutes. That was planned perfect. I grabbed myself a little bag so I can duck the camera in there at the last second. These definitely come in handy because there's uh, lockers out front but nothing on side the raft that'll keep anything dry. Wow, look at this, we get to walk right on. It's amazing, right? Yeah. It's time, are you excited? You're gonna get wet? You're the one that's gonna get wet. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna sit separate. We're gonna sip away from each other. So that way, one of us will guarantee to get wet. All right, here we go. So for a safe one of us, I think it's gonna get wet. Your oh, yeah. Keep your hands, arms <laughs> Now we're kind of apart from each other, so it's gonna be one of us. Who's gonna get the most wet? In my experience, whoever goes down the hill backwards is the person that gets the most wet. So whatever side is facing going down the hill is the one that's going to, like when you go down the big drop, that's the one that's going to get soaked. Yep, so it might be you, might be me, might be him. Who knows? It to be me. Yeah. Before we go down, we got to go up though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I don't like this. You don't like this? <laughs> I need a beer after this one. I think so. I mean, oh boy, look at this. Am I gonna get wet the most? No, no, no. When we go down the hill, whoever's facing the big drop like this is the one that's gonna get wet. Like, there's, a big drop. there's a big drop. If there was a way that I can like manually turn this, I would be turning it like crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, no, 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 no. I like how it's so like peaceful, you know? It's very peaceful. Hey, how peaceful is this? It's very, it's cozy. It's very cozy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh boy. And look at Everest! Oh wow! Oh boy! That's why I got the bag, so if it starts to look ugly, I'm gonna put the camera in the bag. Drop? There's the big drop! Oh no! Look like- no! Don't be me! Don't be me! No, no! No! It's turning! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh! I think it was me! It was me, wasn't it? <laughs> no, not too bad. <laughs> now we gotta, now we gotta dodge the water. Dodge it, boy! Oh, it's gonna get worse. And then there's gonna be up there people up there squirting water at us. Oh, what the heck? What is that? Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob! You lucked out again. Oh my lord. Oh, there is somebody up there waiting to get us. Look, they're arming the elephants. Ah! 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 Thank you. Look at my shorts. Look at me. I'm a soggy bottom boy. Soggy bottom boy right here. There was nobody waiting out there, so I decided to just stick on and like stay. And they were like, yeah, you want to ride again? So we're riding again. And there's still nobody waiting. I wonder why. To make sure you're I love how that raft is named Blow Me Away. Blow Me Away. <laughs> Look at this beautiful view of Mount Everest here. Look at the truck behind you. Look at this. <laughs> Nate with the beautiful view. You don't get this many times in the vlog, huh? Never. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hey, you better hold on to my phone nice and tight. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No! <laughs> no! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> What'd you learn? 
I got you. I feel like I still got soaking wet. I feel like there was still an opportunity where I got very wet. Look at this. This is easy. This feels natural, huh? Natural. Like uh oh. Nice relaxing. Oh no. I get like I get worried. <laughs> Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> now we can get some redemption. Oh yeah, here it is. Line it up perfectly. Get them now. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. I could probably stand up here all day and do this. Like, Universal Studios charges people to do this. Really? Yeah. Disney, it's free. It's like you got to time it right, though. So, like, is there another one? All right, right here. Ready? Get them. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. I am now officially soaked. Two times. Uh, <laughs> on the ride itself and we went I went down backwards both ones and it's funny because we tried to switch because I wanted Sean to capture like me getting wet and I was gonna capture him on his phone like getting hit with the water but it ended up just being me just me <laughs> I pulled out my phone because I wanted to see what the wait times are like and take a look at this before I had to take back my words about Navi River but now they are it's true my words were true 70 minute wait for Navi River Journer and a 55 minute wait for Avatar Flight of Passage mind-blowing isn't it now we're just gonna sit back and wait for it to get dark out and it's kind of nice because it's the perfect time right now where the tree of life is starting to awake you know the tree of life awakening and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of like stare at it and just kind of relax Wasn't that amazing? And look, it's still happening behind us right now. That is crazy, and we're just chilling here. Nobody around us, just kind of, we got our own spot, and it's amazing. The best part about animal thing. Best part, right here. So many hidden little secrets. You can yeah, it's like a little nook that you just go down and bada boom. You've never seen any of this show? No. Look I at it. Isn't that amazing? There's not a single soul down here. And we just got a straight shot of the, the uh, tree. I almost said castle, because it is just as iconic, I feel like. I mean, well, the castle at Magic Kingdom is a little bit more iconic, but for Animal Kingdom, this is its icon. Well, that was really fun. I loved it, just kind of sitting down there, watching the tree of life come to life. And I had a great day today. Like we got to go around and we got to do Cali River Rapids. We got to look at a lot of wildlife and some of the animals and the different paths. And uh, yeah, it was a great day. Literally, I love Animal Kingdom. I don't know why I don't come here more often. I feel like it's one of those parks, whenever it's beautiful out, it's like, you gotta go to Animal Kingdom. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I enjoyed it as well. Oh, did you? Oh. Look at my head. It's not even in the frame. I know, you're too tall. <laughs>